Hello, good morning, everyone. It's another day, and um, my name is Emmanuel Ajiman. Call me Berima, Berima, Berima. Um, today, um, I have visited Ghana's biggest canopy walk. I mean, Ghana's biggest canopy walk. Um, I don't know if you've heard about Ghana's biggest canopy walk, and it was the first one to be constructed in Ghana. Is the Kakum National Park. And they have this canopy walkway. So currently, I'm at Kakum. You can see the view over there. That's the entrance to Kakum National Park. So we are going to have fun today. I'm going to climb the canopy walk and then enjoy nature. Uh -huh. So join me as I go to climb the biggest, the biggest so far canopy walk in Ghana. It's the biggest because, trust me, Kakum National Park, you need to be here. And enjoy so it is in the central region of Ghana that's where you can see or locate Kakum National Park so um, that's the signpost there directing people that yeah of course you are welcome to Kakum National Park don't forget to like this video share and of course subscribe hit the subscribe button okay okay so Kakum National Park here we are so we are at Kakum National Park. We're going to climb the canopy walkway today and enjoy nature. Please subscribe to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button. Like and of course, leave a comment on the page. Are you ready? Kakum National Park for you here in the central region, Ghana, West Africa. Try and visit the place anytime you are in Ghana. So um, still inside um, Kakum National Park and this is the children's park where kids come to play so let's enter and see what they have there um yes um today i'm touring the kakum national park so just be with me as i tour with you i'll do the canopy uh, climbing up okay so there's a place for kids it's a kids playground and um they have a couple of things here um so nice you're grateful um let's see um i'm inside um where kids can play so in case you come along with your kids this is where the kids can also play um maybe they can't climb the canopy walkway where i am an adult so i'm gonna climb there maybe they cannot go there but um kids can also have fun enjoy they have a lot of things to also enjoy at least they have been able to construct something similar to um the main canopy walkway so there is something similar also for the kids to also play and they have a lot of activities here kids can just sit down here and enjoy their food and anything they want to do but what you see behind me please um <laughs> should i tell you whether it's um real but trust me, this is just a statue. Yes, it's just a statue. So let's get close to it. Let's go close, 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 close. Yes. So trust me, we're going to have fun today. Yes. So it's just for the kids. So we are going to tour inside um, the forest. So join me. Uh, I'm ready. I got some water here. <laughs> So we are ready to climb the canopy walkway. Let's go. We have in the park also the canopy walkway, which we're going to experience and then have fun on it this morning. We're also going to talk about it. But in the next 10 minutes, as I said, we are going to exercise by going up a hill on these stones. That's about 250 it's high. So it might be difficult, but we are not in a rush. We go in a very relaxed manner so that we don't hurt also. At any point in the big get my attention, we take a rest or a break before we continue. We are also going to take a walk through Kakum conservation area and we're going to give us the chance or the opportunity to explore the beauty of the park. So this morning there are more to learn, more to see and also more to explore in Kakum conservation area. So follow me and let's see what nature has for us this morning. Thank you. <clears throat> So you heard from the tour guide, 
who is taking us on the journey. Um, we've started a journey. I know it's gonna, it's not going to be easy, but um, we'll try our best to um, climb the mountain. So enjoy. And I'm in the forest. Yes, we've started in the forest. Wow. It looks quite scary though, but um, we will make it. We're still in the forest, climbing. <sighs> I'm getting tired already. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm getting tired already, eh? <sighs> but we'll make it. It's a nice experience. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to pet. Huh. Hey. Last <laughs> Uh, so we're still on. And at this point, to we sell fresh produce that is cocoa, coconuts, and also um, palm wine. We do it over here. So whilst we're taking a break, resting, we also have the chance to buy coconut water, palm wine, and also fresh wine. Before you move on before you continue. So if any of you need a break, you can have it here before we continue. If you are okay to move to the next one, then we go straight to the next one. Since next one. Next one. Okay. Okay. We will not complain. <laughs> <laughs> I will not complain. <laughs> you can see I'm sweating already, but <laughs> We'll make it. We're still in the forest, Kakum Forest. It's a very nice experience. <sighs> but we'll make it, we'll make it. <sighs> it's a nice experience, eh? <sighs> so I have my good friend, Esther. Oh, hi. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm will you try again next time? Maybe I will. It's fun, but then. Charlie. Maybe for more. Don't fall. Okay. Please, we're starting to the second red point on the hill. We are the last point to end the hill. Then if you look straight there, you can see there's a structure there. When you get there, the hill will come from there. And then we go to the level down to the canopy. Okay. And also from there, we get to the boundary line. When we get to the boundary line, I'll let you know the difference between the boundary line, the primary forest, and then the secondary forest. So we are almost done with the hill. Let's get into the level now. Let's see what we're doing. Thank you. Hmm. Noise, you. We're still in the forest. <sighs> okay. At this point, the end of the brother here to an end. We are now entering Kakum Conservation Area. If you look on the board over here, you can see that you are now entering Kakum Conservation Area. It means that where we came from is the secondary part of the forest. So we are now entering the virgin part of the forest. So this line is standing on separate or demarcates the secondary forest from the primary forest. The difference between the two is that in the secondary forest it has been farmed before, it has been, land has been used before for some years back when our ancestors were here in the forest. They used the secondary forest at their oil palm plantation. But the primary forest hasn't been touched or hasn't been cleared before. So when we get in here you see the difference yourself. 
you see that the oxygen even in the primary forest is very fresh mm -hmm. and it, it's also cold as well and also in the primary forest you see big trees tall trees which reach a height of about 65 to 70 meters so and then in the primary forest the sunlight find difficult to reach the floor or some part of the floor or the ground so when we come to plants we find more plants in the secondary forest than the primary forest because in the secondary forest the sunlight reaches the floor so more plants grows over there and because of that when it comes to feeding for the animals in the park they usually feed in the secondary forest and then hide themselves in the primary forest but when they get to the secondary forest they get more food or more plants to feed on Kakum conservation area is a home for a lot of animal species we have some animals like antelopes and dikes in the park we also have monkeys when it comes to monkeys we have six species or six types in Kakum conservation area with these six species we have the black and white collabs we also have the Muna monkey we have Diana monkey we have olive monkey. We also have the lesser spot notes and then the yellow back monkey. These are the six species or six types of monkeys we have in Kapun conservation area. We also have porcupines also in the park. Porcupine. There are leopards as okay. well. Leopard in the park. Yes. We also have red river hawk. Red river hawk is commonly known as forest pig. Mm. And the difference between the forest pig and the domestic ones is that. The forest ones are black in color, Coconut. while the domestic ones are gray. The size are the same. We have them here as well. Mm. We also have cockatoo. Cockatoo, mm. yes. We also have an animal called tree harass. They are so common over here in the park. Tree harass. The local name of the tree harass is oria, mm. oriata, oriata, no. oriata. They are common in the park. When you spend a night in the forest, they are the first animal to hear them. Because they call or they sound loud in the night or at night. So you remember you're in the forest. I was in the forest yesterday with some people. We spent the night in the forest. And then they were the first animal we had. Yeah, the tree harass. We also have narrow crocodiles or small crocodiles in the streams and rivers we have in the park. But Kakum is also um, a home for narrow crocodiles as well. So when we come to the streams and rivers we have in the park, they, that's the way or that's where they live or they hide. And so what they are found in the streams and rivers we have in the park. We also have forest elephants in Kakum. Kakum has recorded 240 forest elephants in the park. And when we come to snakes, we have different species of which sometimes when I mention some of the animals found in Kakum, I don't want to go into details about the snake because I know definitely some of us dislike them. So I don't go into details about it. But if you want me to go into details about it, I'll mention the mamba. We have the green mamba mm. in the park. We have the yellow mamba. We also have the black mamba. Again, we have the royal python. Also, mm. Kakum conservation area. Bed, bed watching or pets. Kakum is also a home for 300 bed species. So, people or visitors with special interest in bed watching, you see them coming in very early in the morning by six straight to the canopy walk to see some of the bed species we have in Kakum conservation area. Again, for the butterfly lovers, Kakum is also a home for 600 species of butterflies. So, with the butterflies, we have a campsite where you can spend the night over here in the forest to have a forest experience and because that side has so many butterflies you can name the campsite butterfly campsite so when you come to Kakum and the use of butterfly campsites they'll take you to the place where you can spend the night over all these animals we've mentioned they live in Kakum forest or Kakum conservation area but seeing them in the daytime especially or during the working hours is very difficult because of human activities. Look at the number of people who come in to use the forest and the noise they make, especially with the school kids. 
they will come in here as now. But those of us who know Asin Fosu, mm -hmm. Kakum Forest stretches from here all the way to Asin Fosu. So look at the size. It's very big. And when people come in here, make noise, they also go deep and they hide. So it's very easy to see them during the working hours or during the daytime. You see them by this time, if only when you are lucky. You see them in the daytime only when you are lucky. But the best time to see them is at night. If at night, then it means you have to spend the night in the forest. If seeing the animals is at night, then you have to spend the night in the forest. There is a wooden structure built up on top of a tree. We call it tree house. We call it tree house. So the tree house is where you spend the night. If you look on the board, you can see from there. Okay. Or tree house. That's where you spend the night over. So you spend the night there and you have the chance to see and officially opens for the fabric in 95. It took them six months only to build or for the construction. After the work was done, the Canadians trained the Ghanaians who supported them to build. They trained them on how to maintain the walkway and they handed over to them. They went back to their country. So the Ghanaians who were part to build and also were trained on how to maintain the walkway has been our maintenance team since 94 and they are still here with us. Two of them are gone on pension but then when they were going they trained two young guys to replace them so they are still six in number. And because we have these great people here doing a great job on the walkway since 94, no accidents or no casualties, nobody has fall from the walkway. The walkway has not here before, it has been in a very good condition at all times. We also do what we call um, annual maintenance, that is every six months. We make sure we change everything on the walkway, replace it by new ones. We also do late checkup. After the last tour, use the walkway. The team will go there, make sure everything is fine before the next tour or the next day activities. And because of the regular maintenance, which goes on here in Kakum and on the walkway, since 94, the walkway has been in a very good condition, no accidents. So if you are here this morning to experience the Kakum Canopy walkway, I will urge you, do not put any fears in you by walking. The walkway is literally safe for everybody. No matter how your weight is, the walkway is ready to support you because the maximum weight the bridges or the walkway can support is eight tons that is the weight of two big forest elephants we humans nobody can be weigh one elephant yeah nobody can be weigh one elephant so when we get on there feel free have more fun don't think your weights will tear or bring the bridge Okay. Down the walkway is raised for everybody. Oh, there is no uh, there's a bypass when we get to the canopy walkway, and the bypass is meant for people who are scared of heights. Angela. And also people who are so tired thinking they can't go through all the seven. So if you come to the canopy walkway, at least we don't leave you out. You can do the bypass. If you can't do all the seven, you can do the bypass. And it's the same experience. Okay. In terms of heights, it ranges from 11 to 40 meters. 40 meters is the highest point. And 40 meters is about 131 feet. So mm -hmm. if you don't like heights, if you don't like oh. heights, all what you need to do is to avoid looking down. Because the more you look down, the more you get scared. So if you don't like height, avoid looking down and it's very simple for you. And then the length is 350 meters long. Where we start is not where we end. There's a starting point and also a by sorry, an exit. So where we start, there's an exit. We go it's in the form of circle. So from the first bridge, you see the rest in the form of circle to the exit. Okay. And also since the walkway is hanging, definitely when you are walking, it will have some shaking to produce some noise. You don't have to concentrate or focus about how much sound you hear. You rather focus on the fun you are having instead. The main reason or the main purpose of the canopy walkway construction in Kakum is to give visitors an excellent view of the <laughs> rainforest. Because when you get on there, that's where you're going to have a nice view of the forest. And um, nice view of the forest, yes, as I okay. said. 
then um whenever you are making pictures or photos we make sure we keep or we hold our phones tight so that you don't fall <laughs> so in case your phone fall or your camera fall we can't get it back for you it, it, never yeah, we can never get it for you no, what's it? when it fall down when your phone fall down the monkeys will be the next people to, to use, use it okay. they will use it to make <laughs> selfie and then they'll go through your facebook they'll go through <laughs> your whatsapp it. when the battery oh, yeah. runs down they'll bring it back to the reception and i'll charge it but I, I have the responsibility of charging monkeys phone for them and they give it so it that has been by people and i'll give it back to them so if you don't want them to use your phone keep them well okay whilst you're working on the bridge and one thing is if you think you can't make pictures whilst working on the bridge don't worry relax when you get to the platform just pick up your phone and then start making your photos from there okay so this is few information about Kapu, yeah, 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 canopy oh. so we yeah, are continue okay you know, yeah, questions so i just wanted so to know how many people can be on 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 at the a time at a time at how a time. many people if adults 10 to 15 but children we can put about 20 at a time okay so can we go at a time we can all go at a time at a time we can all of us can go at a time okay so that uh, you, you, you <laughs> holding us <laughs> over here. No, no, you, <laughs> we are still continuing taking a walk through the forest mm. to explore the beauty wow. of the park. So mm. let's continue. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 So we're still in the forest, Kakum National Park. Forest, enjoying nature. Hey, your comments are very, very important. So just drop your comment and like, subscribe, and share the video. Ah. So, it has started. So, we start in here. Yeah. So on the runway, on the canopy walkway, there's the first one. Uh, is the canopy walkway at Kakum? Yes. Yes. So we are still on. We're still on. It's not easy, but I'll do it. Is the canopy walkway Can Kakum? I'll do it. Is the canopy walkway Kakum National Park? Uh huh. So join me. Please do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share, leave a comment. It's not easy. I wanted to do it, um, have a talk. Oh, I wanted to talk whilst um, shooting video, but um, it's kind of difficult. So we'll manage. So yeah, still we're still on at Kakum National Park. You can see the canopy walkway. We're still on. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to tour the whole of Africa. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Huh? Yes, of course. So I'm still on um, the canopy walkway. <sighs> yeah, it's quite scary, but um, when you try your best, you'll be able to do it. Okay, so um, uh, this is the fourth one and I'm with... Um, one of the guys who constructed this thing, they, they make sure that always they are maintaining this thing. What's your name? 
Okay, oh, okay, so you are part of the people who maintain and make sure that everything is in order. Yes, please. Oh, okay, so if someone wants to uh, call you to somewhere uh, in another country for you to construct, can you do it? Yes. Oh, okay. You are ready to do it. You can do it with your team. Yes. So just contact them and they will get this done for you anywhere in the world. Okay. I and my team will come and do it. Yeah, so the team will come there to do it. They will help you with maintenance and also training personnel to maintain the thing for you. Even, uh -huh. So according to them, in case you need uh, the canopy on water, hey, how is it possible? Wow. It's just smooth to me here. Yeah, but I'm not sure. 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 Uh, wow, so if in case you need some in water, hey. okay, so let me try my fifth one. Eh? Uh -huh. So I've done the fourth one, doing the fifth one. Please try and subscribe to this channel um, so that in case I visit any tourist sites, you get the opportunity. Um, to see it first and um, hit the bell button so that it gives you notification anytime I drop videos for you so the last but one the sixth one the last but one At long last, I'm done. I'm left with just, I'm left with just one canopy walk to go, and that's all. <sighs> it has not been easy, but um, <sighs> no easy though. At long last, I've been able to make it um, canopy walkway, Kakum, in the central region. Make sure you visit Kakum National Park anytime you are in Ghana. Please don't forget to share this video, like, and of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button here. Uh, make sure you hit the bell so that in case I visit any tourist site, you get to know it first. Um, guess where we'll be going to? Yeah, so we're done. Noisy. It's kind of exercise. Uh, by the grace of God, we're done. Please subscribe to this channel, share, like, and leave a comment. Um, you don't know where will be the next place I'll be going to. So. So, we eat him fufu with grass cutter and antelope. Yes, yeah, so it's a local chop bar at Kaku. Freedom chop bar. What's your favorite housing? Freedom chop bar at Kaku National Park. So this is Freedom chop bar. Freedom chop bar. Close to just opposite the Kaku National Park. But so I'm buying my fufu. Local bar.
So I'm taking pounded um, cassava. Um, in Ghana, we call it fufu. Yeah, in Ghana, we call it fufu. And I'm doing it with um, grass cutter. Grass cutter. And then um, antelope. Yes, um, so uh, pounded cassava. We call it fufu. You can see them enjoying this. They bought um, two two cities. I, I bought a lot, in fact. Mm. So um, all of you are invited um, 